this is Kayla with Live Oak Nest and today I want to show you how to make a couple of these little tassel charms. So these are going to go on a joy jar and I'll show you that um, here in just a little bit, but I made these little tassel charms to go on my little terrarium that I'm using as a joy jar and so I wanted to show you how to make your own. So um, this is actually, I made one beforehand so that I could kind of show you what it's going to look like. And then um, I'm gonna make one here with you so that you can follow along. But this is um, a little wooden flower pot that I got in the Hobby Lobby craft section. And I used it kind of like as my tassel topper. And then I just took a bunch of different ribbons that I liked and little charms to add on. Um, I used a lot of little keys and a little clock. So a joy jar is basically where you write down like happy moments or blessings or answered prayers. Um, throughout the year and then at the end of the year you kind of go through and open up um, read back through all of your uh, little notes that you wrote so anyway this I wanted to be able to put a little charm on my terrarium that I'm going to use so this is what we're going to make today I think it turned out really cute um, so there's that and then I also made one of these while I had all my stuff out making charms um, you could also do something smaller like this to hang on your joy jar, or you could use this, I mean, anywhere. It just unclips right here at the top, and then you can hang it on wherever you like, but I just thought these turned out so pretty. So let's, um, let's get started. Okay, so to gather everything you, you need, you're going to need, um, a bunch of different little ribbon pieces, and then I probably, I think I'm doing about, I don't know, seven or eight inches. Um, and I just collected a bunch of little different ribbons and lace and little velvet ribbon, things that I like. And then I have some chain here that I'm going to use to put my little charms on. So you're going to need that. And then you're going to need a couple little charms. Here's some more that I thought I'd put on. Um, and these I just found in my little stash here. And if you're doing like any kind of like... I don't know, bead work or jewelry making, or I make a little bookmarks for my shop. Um, and so that's why I have this, but you can get this on Amazon and I'll link it down below, but it's pretty cheap and I've never really felt like I needed anything besides what's in this kit here. So um, this is what I have. I'll link one down below if you don't have one and you're wanting to get one. And then this is where I keep all my little beads and things. And, um, I just kind of have a little variety because I've made some tassel necklaces in the past. So I have a lot of little different charms and things. Um, so for this, the chain, it comes just on a big roll or it wasn't too big. Um, and I just cut off about the length that I want. And I decided for this one, so on this charm right here, I wanted it to actually be a little fuller with ribbon. And so I cut more ribbon for the one that we're going to do today. Um, so I've got two pieces of chain here and then I made this little um, pearl ribbon or pearl charm. So I really just took this wire right here and I use this gauge for a lot of stuff. It's 22 gauge and I got it in the gold because I was doing a lot of this brushed or bronze color. And so anyway, I just took a piece of that wire and then strung up all these little tiny beads on here and then I'm going to connect it on um, to the center with one of these little jump rings. So you're gonna need some of these jump rings. You, they come in a ton of different sizes. You're gonna need some um, chain if you're wanting to do this part. It has little charms on it. And then several little charms, some beads. So um, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is just lay all your ribbon out. And I've already cut all my ribbon about the same length. It doesn't have to be perfect because you can trim it up when you're done but I just laid it all out here everything that I'm gonna want all the ribbon that I'm gonna want to put on and the chain I'm gonna show you how to do that in just a minute so I've gathered all my ribbon let's see here um, and some of this was just fabric that I tore to make little pieces of ribbon like this muslin ribbon and then some of it was ribbon that was a lot thicker and I just um, it down the middle so that it was a little bit thinner okay all right kind of layered around here 
Okay, so once you've got that, I'm gonna cut off a little piece of wire. So this is the piece of wire that we're gonna thread up through our little thimble part. And I always just, I mean, get a good length because you can always trim it off, but you can't make it, I can't make it any longer. So I'm gonna use this. And then I will say like on this, this was just a little wooden flower pot in the craft section at Hobby Lobby. And I painted it, um, I don't know if you can, if it'll focus. Yeah, there it goes. So you can kind of just see, I painted it kind of gray and put in some darker colors and then put in a little gold. So I just kind of brushed on a lot of different colors to make it look like this because I wanted it to kind of go with my color scheme here. So for the tassel part, you're just gonna lay all your ribbon out and then kind of pick it up in the center. And then I'm just gonna kind of hold it and see if that's kind of where I want it. So you can see that's gonna be like nice and full. I want it full. <laughs> Okay, so then right now, that's about the center, so I'm gonna take my wire here, and for this part, I'm just gonna wrap it around pretty tight, just one end, because we're gonna need the other side to pull through, and I'm actually gonna go like this. Kind of pull it tight with one hand. So I'm gonna wrap this around one more time because I'm gonna want this on the top because that's what's gonna pull through um, our little thing here, like that. So I wanna make sure all that ribbon's gonna fit in there before I keep adding to it. So then you're just gonna shove it up in there pretty good. So yeah, that's what it's gonna look like. So I like that. Okay, so then for this, I'm gonna pull it back out because I'm going to need to put my chain on and I want to connect my chain with a jump ring so that it stays in place. And on this one, yeah, I think I just did, I just did one chain. So if I do two on this one, it'll be four pieces total, but I think I wanna do that. So I am going to take two little jump rings over here. So I'm gonna use that size. And then I want to show you how to open these <laughs> because when I, if you've never done this before, let me show you up close. So I'm gonna take my little jump ring. Let's see if it'll focus on this. Okay, so you can see there's a little slit already in the jump ring. So what you wanna do is you wanna take your pliers and you wanna pull one of them, pull one plier to you and the other plier away from you like this. And it's gonna open it right up. And your instinct is to try and pull them apart, but you will never get that thing <laughs> back together. So then I'm just gonna slide my chain on there and then I'm gonna slide my chain around the wire and slip it up in there. There we go. So then to close it, you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna pull one of them to you and one of them away from you. And you kind of almost feel it like snap back into place. If you go the other direction, it's very hard to get them lined back up. Um, and you wanna wind back up so that your thing stays where you want it. Okay, so that one's on. So then once it's pulled up in the thing, it's gonna hang down in the middle like that. And I kinda want one, I think I'm gonna put one here on the top, like that, so that I can kind of spread them out. Um, when I get the tassel up in there. Okay, so again, it has a little bitty slit right there. So I'm gonna take the pliers and hold this side, take the pliers and hold this side, and then I'm gonna push one hand away from me and one hand toward me like that. So it's gonna open it right up. Of course it's having trouble, there we go, so you can see that. Okay, so then I wanna find kind of the center of this, it doesn't have to be perfect. So about there, 
I'm gonna slip it on my jump ring. And then I think I'm gonna put this one right up here at the top. There we go. Slipped right on. Now I'm gonna do it the same way to close it. Let's see if I can get around that piece of wire. Okay. Let's see here. I'm bend that down for a minute. Okay. So there we go. Lined right back up. Okay. So now that we've got those on, when I pull it up in there, I'm gonna try and keep that one kind of close to the top. I was looking for like a jewelry, um, a tassel cap. I mean, you can find brass. Uh, well, here's some right here. Um, Cause I've made little necklace, tassel necklaces before and used these, but this one wasn't quite big enough. And so anyway, I thought about just wrapping it around, but then I saw these and I was like, oh my gosh, it, that would be perfect because it's kind of like a big thimble, so. Okay, let's see here. So I just want to make sure my ribbon's kind of, all my chains and things are kind of where I want them before we pull that up in there because it's tight. Okay, and you can see in there, well, you probably can't. <laughs> I can, it's up to the very top, so that's where you want it. Okay. And these will kind of stay on the outside, maybe. And then I have that one underneath, so we can put a lot of little charms on there. So, I think that looks so cute. And you could, for the top of the, for this one right here, I just put this hook on here, because I wanted to be able to hook it on and off the terrarium. Um, so that you can reuse it. If you decide you don't want it on there anymore, you can put it somewhere else. But you could do like a pearl, oop. You could do a pearl or something at the top, which I thought would look kind of cute too, like that. That looks pretty. Um, and then make your little loop right there. That would work, but, okay. So for now, I'm gonna leave it just like that. It's in there really tight, so it's not going anywhere. And now for like the charm stuff. Um, so this little piece, <laughs> I wanted to, actually, I think I'm going to take it back out one more time because I wanted to connect this on here. See that little wire? I wanted to loop these on with a jump ring. So that piece kind of hangs down in it with like a piece of ribbon. So let me do that. I forgot about that part. Okay. So. When I made this, I just cut a piece of wire and then I used these pliers that come in the little kit and they're round. So when you're doing a piece of wire, let me take a scrap piece here. When you're doing a little piece of wire, you can grab it and then roll and then it's gonna roll it right up for you like that. So then you can put your little jump ring right on to one of those little loops. And that's kind of how I did the top of my um, tassel too. So I did that to both ends. So you can see where I rolled it up. So the beads aren't going anywhere. Now I'm going to take a jump ring and open it up here. Pull towards you and pull away from you. And then I'm going to attach, let's see, attach this to it. I'm actually going to put both little loops in there, like that. The bottom. Okay. So that's on there. Now I'm going to close my jump ring. Make sure it's good. I'm trying to make sure y'all can see and I can see. <laughs> okay, that's on there good and it's not going anywhere. Okay, so here's the top again. Split everything back up, and then I'm gonna stick it back in the thing. See, I thought that'd be pretty on there. I could do a couple, but um, and it'll just kind of hang down like a ribbon. Okay, so let's put this back up in here. Make sure these are kind of hanging where I want them. 
You could also hot glue this up in there, um, but I really, it's not going anywhere, so I don't think you have to do that. I wanna make sure my chains right here, I have one going each direction, okay, I do. take something if you feel like it's not secure and kind of just shove stuff back in there make sure it's good I'm up at the top sometimes it's hard to pull that wire okay so there's everything in there and I'm glad I added that little bee because I think it's pretty okay so for this so some of these like I like on this little velvet ribbon like this I like putting these little clasps on and then dangling a little charm from it. So maybe like one of these would look cute hanging from there. So to do that, you're just gonna need to trim off, get my scissors, cut it straight across. And then I'm gonna take my little pliers here and these little clasps you can find at, um, at Joann's, you can get them on Amazon. I'll link some in the video. So you're just gonna grab them like that and then clasp it on to this ribbon. And you see those little pinchers on the clasp so it actually grabs hold of the ribbon. And then you just wanna push down pretty good. Okay, so that's on there. And then this little charm that I'm using, this is Tim Holtz. I just thought these were so cute. Um, but it already has a jump ring on it, so we just need to open up this jump ring. Like that. And make sure you have it on the right direction. Facing out. And then close my jump ring. Closed it good. It's kind of hard to do that with the camera and <laughs> not put it next to my face. Okay. All right, so that's on there. So that's what that looks like. And then on this this one right here, like I left that little curly cue because I thought it would look cute to do a little charm or something hanging from there. Um. So. Let's see, I also made this, so I did the same thing. I just cut a little piece of wire and then did a curly cue on the end, strung a few beads on there and then curled it back on the other end. So then you can just slip a jump ring on and just have it dangling from something like that. So would be cute. Um, okay, so on this, I think I might do this little key. I think that'd be cute. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a jump ring. I don't know if that one will fit. These, I got these oblong ones. Normally they're circle. I, you can buy them in circles, but I don't know. The package I got, they're like kind of strange, but they'll work for this. back up. I didn't know if it would fit on the smaller one. I don't know if I'll think that's too long. I don't know. Okay, that's fine. So there it is on the bottom. Okay, so I want to do another clasp on the end of this one. Do I have one? Yeah, here's one. I like those on the end of the velvet ribbon, so Cut it straight. Oh, wrong one. Okay, just center it in there and then squeeze it down tight. 
Okay. And I want to do the same little charm on that one too. Okay, so we're just going to open up the jump ring. Slip it right on. And close it back up. When I first started making little velvet bookmarks for Bible journaling and war binders, I was trying to pull the jump ring apart, like I mentioned at the beginning. <laughs> and my hands, oh my goodness, they get they will get so tired after doing you know, just a few um, of trying to pull those little wires apart and then try and mash them back together. So, anyway, that's a good tip if you didn't know that. So this little ribbon right there is facing the wrong direction. I just want it turned out. So I'm gonna try and turn it up under there. There we go, that'll work. Okay, this is gonna be so cute. All right, so then this is just the same thing all the way up. So you, for the wires like this, you're just gonna take your charm, take a jump ring, open it up, clip it on, and then hook it to the uh, chain. I like to have a little bowl or something for scraps when I'm doing this because it just keeps my table clean and then I don't have to worry about stuff falling off on the floor and my kids putting it in their mouths. <laughs> okay. Now then the other thing I did on this one that I really liked was sliding up um, a charm like this just on the ribbon. So this isn't really secured on there. It's just tight because of um, the thickness of the ribbon. So I have this little word charm. It says dream. So I want to do that on here. Thank you. 
Okay. All right, so I got that on there. That's cute. Okay, so I think, let's see. I wanted to add this little guy. This is actually a Tim Holtz too, I think. I've had these for a long time. I pick stuff up like, like this that I think is cute for no project in particular, and then find a place to use it. So I'm trying to decide, I think I want this a little higher too, so that everything's not just hanging down low. So I'm gonna put this kind of around here somewhere. Have to twist some of this stuff back around as you work on it to put it in the right spot how you like it see yeah that's one of the top ones but it's only a little bit on the outside okay all right so there we have it I've got lots of little charms I was gonna make sure I have something on I think I'm gonna I still got that, this little piece I want to put on, and I like that heart too. I mean, I don't know. Can you make these too junky? <laughs> I don't think you can. I think that looks really cute. I like it. Nice and junky. Okay. So that's everything that I think I'm going to do on this one. Okay, so to finish this off here, I'm going to do it just like this one. So I just made one little loop like that and then put this piece on. So. Isn't that cute? Okay, so that's done and ready to go on the, wherever you want to put it. I'm gonna put mine on my little jar. And then this, I wanna show you how to do this really quick. They're super simple. And if you already have all your stuff out, they're easy to do. Okay, clean out my little area here. So I already have several little pieces that I can use. Um, and this, you just wanna lay out your ribbon and then stack it all up. Um, let's see. And then we're gonna put this little jewelry clasp on there. Let's see, I like this ribbon. I think I'll do So I just layer up how I'm going to have them and you need to make sure the tops are pretty, are kind of stacked on top of each other because they need to be able to sit in the clasp, you know, and then from there you can kind of pull them out how you want it layered. Okay, so I think I have that 
pretty good. I'm trying to decide if I want that piece in there. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so now that I have them kind of all sacked together, I am going to cut the end off straight. Just like that. And then I'm gonna get my little clasp here and put everything in there. And then once you get it kind of centered and how you want it, you can go ahead and clasp it all down. Really tight. And it has those little teeth, so it just kind of grabs right a hold of everything. So, and then from there, you can kind of, you know, fan it out how you want it. And you can kind of cut the ends how you like. This is the easiest little thing to make ever. Okay, so for this piece right here, I just took, so it opens up just like a safety pin, so you can clip it onto something. And then I'm going to do just like this. And then I'm gonna put a little charm on it. And one more little bead. cute super super simple and so cute okay so I made these two so on this first one here I had a piece of this velvet ribbon so I used one of the dory clasp the little claws and then I added a jump ring with a bead and then put a little clock on that one so I thought that turned out cute okay so there's those so now let me grab my joy jar and kind of show you what that looks like. Okay, so I wanted to show you this little terrarium I got was from Hobby Lobby. Um, I found some on Amazon that I like better and I'm gonna link those and I'm probably gonna order one of those and return this one because the one on Amazon actually opens up from the top and this one opens up on the side through like a little door, which is fine. But if you're gonna be just tossing papers in there, um, it's easier to do that if the top opens up than from this side because the bottom part is pretty shallow. So this is going to be where I put all of my little blessing cards and I'm gonna take this off and show you what it looks like. So I designed this little card. What a wonderful thought it is that some of the best days of our lives haven't even happened yet. I just thought that was so perfect for this. And I put the little year here in the corner. And the goal here is, um, you know, every few days, once a week, however often you can, you write down little blessings on the cards and then stick them in your jar. And I actually am gonna hole punch all of mine and stick them once I finish it on these, this little ring here. And so at the end of the year, I have all of them here together. And then this can be my, my little cover for this little booklet. And so then every year I can keep a different, um, a different ring of the year. So I just thought that was a sweet way to kind of collect them. Cause I know a lot of people will put on sticky notes or something and throw it in a jar. And then what do you do with, <laughs> what do you do with that? Unless you just toss it. Um, but I think it'll be cute to keep them every year and just add, you know, add to your little collection. So I also thought it'd be a good idea to do, um, to print off like a couple of photos on from your phone camera. And then you can actually write, you know, these I printed double, so I just printed it like this, and then I'm gonna, and then trim the sides. So I could actually open it up and then write in there about, you know, what we were doing that day or what they were doing um, when I took the picture. So I thought that was really sweet. So that's another good idea. And then you can just hook them on um, to your jar. So my plan is to keep this in there and then 
I'll keep a little pin with it. And these pins, oh my goodness, have you ever seen anything so dang cute? Um, I'm gonna link my friend who sells these. I love these. They're old silverware handles. I think they're the end of knives. But anyway, these are so pretty. So I'm gonna keep that in my little jar. And, huh. Um, and then I just tied a little ribbon around the pieces of paper here. And this is all a download on the blog post. So you'll get um, the template to print your own of these and cut them. And then also comes with this one that has the, um, the text on it as your cover. So those I'll keep in there. And then this I'm gonna hang on my little side here. So I'm just gonna tie this on like that. Whoop. Okay, and then this is where I'm gonna hang my little charm. So I can clip it onto the edge here and just kind of layer it like that. So if you thought that was too much, <laughs> And you didn't want to do something that big. I just think it adds a little bit to the look of it. Um, then you could do something little like this. That looks sweet too. And then just clip it onto your wire right there. Um, so anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this. I think this is such a cute idea. And I'm excited to... This is the first year I, like I've ever kept one of these and I'm hoping I can keep up with it but I think if you just don't make it difficult you already have these so if you print up several in advance and then um, you can just jot down you know sweet memories and blessings and answered prayers and then add in a couple of pictures and then at the end of the year you just take your cover one clip it on and you have like a little year worth of memories so anyway this is my own take on the joy jar you'll see a lot of different people um, on Pinterest or YouTube or whatever, doing their own version. Some of them you can do like an apothecary jar, but I just thought it would be cute to put it in something like this, like this terrarium um, that's pretty and it kind of goes with my decor. So. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll try to link everything that I've used here in the video um, description and on the blog. So I hope y'all enjoyed this and you find it inspirational. And if you end up making your own joy jar, I'd love to hear about it.